In this video we shall see our first hint for the max counters causality problem. Remember that this problem needs to be solved in linear runtime. What I will do here is first present a naive way to solve this, but that is not very performant. It will not meet the performance limitations on causality. And then later I will give you the hint so you will be able to solve it in a more performant way. So let's walk through an example where we are given to deal with five counters. So we construct an array holding all these counters, starting at index at position 0 up to 4, containing five counters. And we receive a list of instructions that we need to perform on these counters. Just remember that in our problem, each counter is accessed by its ID. And the IDs in the problem start from 1. However, our index in our array starts from 0. So every time we reference a counter from the instruction, we need to subtract 1 from it to find the index. So in our naive solution, what we would do is process each instruction one at a time starting from the first one. And in this example, the first one is to increment counter number 3. So we start with the first instruction, we find counter number 3, which in our array is at index number 2, and increase it. Then we move to our next instruction and increment our fourth counter, and we do it again on the fourth. Then we get the max counter instruction. So what we do here is first find which is the max, which in this case is 2, and then get another counter starting from the left of our array and setting every single counter that we have to a value of 2. And then we continue processing the rest of the instructions, incrementing the first counter, then the fourth, and again the fourth. The problem with this solution is the max counter operation. In the max counter operation, we go through every single item in our array and set it to the maximum value. That particular operation requires n steps. And in the worst case, this turns our algorithm into a quadratic one. The worst case of our naive algorithm is when every single instruction that we have is a max counter operation. When this happens, we have to do that linear scan for every instruction that we have. So if we have m instructions, we would end up having m times n operations. So we need to find something faster. And as usual, I'm going to make use of an analogy to help you solve this particular problem. In our analogy, our counters are placed on a virtual racetrack. How far they get along the race depends on the value of that particular counter. So as usual, we start processing our instructions and every time we get an increase for a counter, we advance that counter one position. When we get a max counter operation, we do something different. Instead of setting all the counters to be at exactly the same position, what we do is we move the starting line. We move the starting line to the front of our fastest runner. In effect, restarting the race again. It's not really fair on the other counters, but it helps us solve our problem. I will stop the video right there for you to think a little bit about this and try to come up with the solution by yourself. So take some time, try to solve this, and then come back and see the next video to continue with this hint and after that we'll present the solution and the implementation.